Let's try some more bed mass problems. We have 2 thirds all divided by 3 fourth. This here is a, a potentially intimidating question. We have layers of cakes, lots of division happening. And so what we do is we look at the numerator. We have 2 thirds. And this big line here means divide. What are we dividing by? We're dividing by 3 fourth. So now this looks a lot easier. We rewrite 2 thirds. Instead of dividing, we change it to multiply. Multiply by the reciprocal, 4 thirds. And when we have a fraction times a fraction, we multiply across. 2 times 4 is 8, and 3 times 3 is 9. This is our answer. Now let's try this question. What is 3 over 2 squared? One way of doing this is to square the top and the bottom. What is 3 squared? 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 2 is 4. And by the way, when we have something squared, a fraction squared, we can rewrite this as 3 over 2 times 3 over 2. And we can multiply across. Same thing. Now we have 0 divided by a number. 0 divided by anything is just 0. If you have zero cookies and you share it with one person yourself, I'm sorry, you still have zero cookies. Minus the square root of a fraction is the square root of the top divided by the square root of the bottom. So what is the square root of 1? It is 1. And what is the square root of 64? It's 8. So now the question is, what is 9 over 4 minus 1 eighth? Let's write it out neatly. Let's multiply top and bottom by 2. So we have 18 over 8 minus 1 over 8. We have the same denominator, so we just copy down 8. And 18 minus 1 is 17. So this here is our final answer. Let's continue with these bed mass questions. We have negative 2 bracket minus 3, and we know that there's a hidden multiplication symbol here. Negative times negative is positive, and 2 times 3 is 6. We're dividing by negative 1 squared. Now this is definitely a negative number, and 1 times 1 is 1, so we're dividing by negative 1. Recall that negative 1 squared indeed is positive. However, negative 1 squared is a negative number, and we're just evaluating the value. 1 squared is 1. Okay, now we have a plus sign and a bracket. What's inside the bracket? 1 to the 0 is 1. Anything to the 0 usually is 1. Minus 0 to the anything is 0. What is 1 minus 0? The answer here inside the brackets is 1. So we have 6 divided by negative 1, which is negative 6, plus 1. So the final result is negative 5. Let's try a cube root problem. What times what times what becomes negative 8? The answer is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 indeed is the inside. And so this here is the cube root of negative 8. And we're adding a fraction squared. We're going to square the top and the bottom. 2 squared is 4, and 3 times 3 is 9. Let's make this divided by 1, and we'll multiply top and bottom by 9. So we have negative 18 over 9 plus 4 over 9. We can combine the fractions, all divided by 9. What is negative 18 plus 4? The answer is negative 14. And this here is our final answer. All right, let's try one more. We have long division, and the goal is to get a nice mixed fraction and a decimal answer. So the numerator is quite large, 1, 2, 3, 0, 4, 8, 1, all 
divided by 3. Make sure we don't mix these up. So let's try 3 times what is 12? And the answer is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. We draw a line and we subtract. We drop the next digit, 3. And the question is, there's a little gap here. 3 times what is 3? And the answer is 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Make sure everything is lined up. We subtract and we drop the next digit. Now 3 times what is 0? We just put a 0 here and we drop the next digit, 4. And there's a gap here. 3 times what is 4? Let's try 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Subtract. 4 minus 3 is 1. And we drop the next digit, 8. 3 times what is 18? Let's try 6. 3 times 6 is 18. We subtract and we drop the next digit, 1. 3 times what is 1? It doesn't fit, so let's put a 0 here. So at this point, we reach the end. This giant number here, we could put a decimal here, or we can forget about the decimal and focus on this last number, which we call the remainder. So this top part here is called the quotient. The answer is to the question is 410160, and we could put a plus sign if we want to, the remainder, which is 1, over the divisor, which is 3. So this here is this mixed fraction answer. Now if we want to continue on with decimals, we could. We put a dot here, and we drop the next mystery 0, and this here is now a 10. 3 times what is 10? Let's try 3. 3 times 3 is 9. We put a 9 down here. 10 minus 9 is 1. And we drop a mystery ghost of a 0 here. And what times 3 is 10? 3 times 3 is 9 again. And you can see that we're running out of space here. But when you say 9 and you subtract and you drop another 0 here, this pattern repeats over and over again. So we get a, an infinite number of 3s. This line means repeater. So we know that this number is equivalent to 410160.3 repeater. Two great fractions to know is that 1 third is equals to 0.33333 forever. This is 33.3%. This is like eating one third of a pizza. It's nice to know this number is 33.3% repeater. As well, if we multiply both sides by 2, we have 2 thirds is 2 thirds of a pizza, which is 0 0.6 repeater. So be sure to practice some long division if you're rusty.